we get one extra little uh, bonus uh, from all of this uh, all of this representing linear maps with matrices and the bonus we get is about linear systems so if you look at this linear system right this is the sort of thing that we started out uh, the class thinking about the left hand side here is it's uh, we can rewrite this as a vector equation right on the right hand side this is just b1 down to bm and on the left hand side this is a11 x1 plus dot 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 plus a1 n x n down to a m1 x1 plus dot 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 plus a m n x n right so all of these equations together are the same thing as this one vector equation, because for the vectors to be equal, all of their entries to be equal, have to be equal. And each equation individually just says that one of the entries is what it's supposed to be. But looking at this left-hand side, this is a matrix, pro a matrix vector product. This is the matrix vector product A11 to A1n down to AM1 a m n so this matrix times the vector x1 down to x n right and we're asking we're asking when is this equal to b1 down to bm so what we've done is sort of rephrased what solving a linear system is what we're looking for is right this matrix if we call this a Right. A acts as a matrix A acts by matrix vector multiplication as a linear map from Rn to Rm. And what we're asking is what inputs produce B as an output. Right. So what this matrix vector product let, lets us do is rephrase a whole linear system as a single equation, a single equation involving um, involving a vector input and a vector output, right? So way back in, say, pre-calculus days, you probably had functions, and you might have solved uh, solved functions uh, solved equations like this: f of x equals two. And what we're asking here is what inputs for this function would produce the output two. Well. What we see now is that a linear system is actually exactly the same kind of question, except it's with a uh, linear, uh, a linear map, not just any map, but a linear map. Right here, we have a matrix representing a linear map, um, and solving the equation, solving this system of equations, is the same thing as answering the question: What inputs for this linear map, represented by a matrix, would produce B as an output? Right. So um, this, the question of linear systems is really bound up with just solving, solving equations from one space to another. And we'll actually take a great advantage of this in the future.